2020 and here we are with the five latest vocabularies from the Hindu editorial. The first word of the day is straddle. S-P-R-A-D-D-L-E pronounced as straddle. It means to sit or stand with one leg on either side of. Okay. That means dono pair ko ek pair ko dusre taraf aur ek pair ko dusre taraf karke baithna ya koi bhi exercise karna use kehte hain straddle. Like sitting on a horse, sitting cross leg on a chair, anything. As shown in this figure, you can understand what straddle means. The synonyms are stride, lounge, or squat. Lounge and squat are the position are two exercise poses. Antonyms are arise, to get up, or to stand. For example, Ram turned the chair around and straddled it. Yani ki Ram ne chair ko ghumai aur wo dono taraf pakar ke baith gaya. The next word is loony. L O O N Y loony. It means a mad or a silly person. Ek bahut hi mazakia ya fir bahut hi crazy insaan ko hum loony kehte hain. If you remember, the, there was a cartoon also Looney Tunes. So loony ka matlab hota hai bahut hi silly, bahut hi mad. Synonyms are absurd, lunatic or crazy. Antonyms are judicious, prudent or sagacious. Yani ki jo bahut hi साउंड जजमेंट जो कर सकता हो जो कि बहुत ही सोच समझ के डिसीजंस लेता हो और बहुत ही सेंसिबल बातें करता हो फॉर एग्जांपल एवरी फैमिली हैज अ मेंबर हु इज लिटिल लूनी यानी कि हर परिवार में एक ऐसा इंसान जरूर होता है जो थोड़ा सा क्रेजी होता है और थोड़ा सा फनी थोड़ा सा मैड थोड़ा सा सिली होता है द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज पुराइल पी यू ई आर आई एल ई पुराइल इट मींस चाइल्डिशली सिली एंड इमेच्योर ओके जो बहुत ही इमेच्योर हो चाइल्डिश बातें करता हो चाइल्डिश बिहेवियर रखता हो सिनोनिम्स आर इमेच्योर Juvenile, adolescent. Antonyms: adult, grown up, or mature. For example, the puerile behavior of teenagers cannot be tolerated for long. Be here, it means that the childish behavior of teenagers बर्दाश्त नहीं की जा सकती है. The next word is resilient. R e s i l i e n t resilient. It means tending to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Resilient is an attitude. It is a behavior to bounce back. For example, you have gone through some kind of uh, misfortune or some kind of accident, some kind of setback, but then you have not lost hope. Instead of that, you have bounced back. You gathered all, all, all your courage and then you started working on your goal again. Okay. The synonyms are bouncy, flexible and elastic. Antonyms are rigid, stiff or inelastic. For example, Rita is resilient enough to cope with the demand and pressure of her police job. So everybody knows that police job is very demanding, right? You have to, at times you have to compromise with your family just to take care of your commitments. So here we are saying that Rita is resilient enough to cope with the demand and pressure of her police job. The last word of the day is dictum. Dictum, D-I-C-T-U-M, it means an announcement, a formal announcement or a noteworthy statement which, ha which has a lot of weightage in itself, right? So any formal announcement is called dictum. Synonyms are postulate, adage or hypothetical. Antonyms could be request, message or denial, a very informal kind of message. For example, a doctor must follow the dictum of first do no harm. So doctors, when they uh, you know acquire the knowledge, uh, when they practice their um, you know co uh, uh, you know the course, they have to follow first rule that first do not do any harm. So here it is a dictum. So that's why we are saying a doctor must follow the dictum of first do no harm. So these were the five vocabularies from today's editorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.